a crack on the wall. See, below it, you got these mineral formations, and above it, it's nice and smooth. See, I bet this door works. Yeah, see, it doesn't even make a noise when it swings. Nice and quiet. This place is what uh, real estate agents like to call a fixer upper. Here's a few one, two, three, four, five, six tubes. Wow. <laughs> Just keeps going. Another one and another one. Boy, this would be a really good place to play laser tag. Look at that. The mineral is sticking out. Wow. I heard that happens if there's like actually water pressure pushing the minerals out. Not 100% sure if that's what happened here, but it makes sense. Look at that. Here's the electrical conduit somewhat intact still. Hasn't been too vandalized. Oh, this is cool. Look at the ceiling here. Look how dark these formations are. So instead of just being calcite or whatever, it's got like the iron from the rust in it or whatever. Oops, hang on, my flashlight's being stupid. There we go. Hang on, I gotta watch my step. I don't wanna trip. The floor is mostly flat, but mostly it's not the same as 100%. There's another hoist right there, I think. Weird. I'm gonna go over there and check it out. It's weird, it's got this white stuff growing on it. Wow, I'm glad people haven't been touching that. I bet that's very fragile. That is cool. I hope people keep resisting the temptation to touch it. It's better to let it grow, see how it ends up. Okay, so here we are at the other hoist. Notice there's a nice electrical panel there. Notice the conduit here. That's where I just was. Wow, look how much minerals are deposit on the side there. Okay, so let me pan up. I'm not sure why, because this is like a hoist would have been here. Well, kind of, but it's, it's got like an air vent and stuff. So it's like they were planning to have a hoist and instead they used it for something else. Oh shoot, there's a bat up there. <laughs> okay, I'll be quiet. Way up at the top there was a bat. Now where am I? Oh yeah, this is the way I came down. See, uh, most of the batteries I've been entering the lower level from the front middle, but this one was blocked. So I had to enter here from uh, the end instead. So now I'm back behind one of the guns. Notice the huge bolts here. Notice the minerals. And notice all the moss growing. Wow, that's soft and fluffy, but I don't want to damage it by touching it. And then here's a little, bunch of little holes for skylights. Got some little mushrooms growing here. No, I couldn't tell you if they're edible or poisonous or psychedelic or anything like that. Notice one, two, three, four, five, six different holes here. Notice the sketchy ladder to get up on top. Hopefully I can find a better way to get up. Oh, okay, ready for this? Notice hinge, hinge. There we go. It works. Cool. Hardly even made any noise. Got a little conduit back there. A couple eyelets there. Now this one is going to be trickier. There, there is a bat back there. I want to see the bat. But no, no, no. Look at this. Look at this. They got bolts here blocking it. So you can't swing this out. But yeah, that's too bad because right on the other side there. Yeah, you can't really see it on the video, but there's a bat up there at the top. Okay, here we go. Okay, so there's one gun down. This is Battery Randall. There's way up to the top and the way down to the bottom, both of which are a little sketchy. Let's see what's behind the door. Well, this would be a good place to play like hide and seek or something. But... Okay, so check it out. There's a pulley, a couple of eyelets. 
This would have been like a light up there, I think. But look at this, I can pan down. This one he's in that far. A different base, I swear it was like twice as far down to the floor. Pretty cool, huh? Alrighty then. Oh, they got a peephole up here too. There's a pulley, eyelets, all sorts of good stuff up there. Okay, notice this is closed. The verdict is, there we go. Oh, weird, somebody hit a, like a geocache. Wow, I'm sure that ruby is fake, but it's still pretty, wow. I don't really approve of leaving stuff laying around like that, but let's face it, little trinket like that is not really causing any damage. Definitely bigger things to worry about in the world. There's some eyelets, there's another way up to the top. There's those big metal eyelets, hooks for navigating or aiming. Notice here, some of the holes are almost blocked by moss or whatever. There's the stairs down to the lower level. And here's where the gun was. Oh yeah, I found it. Now notice this door right here. I bet there's a hole behind it. There we are. There's the hole down to the lower level. Cool. Let's see, how much these way? Yeah, I'd say at least a couple dozen pounds. There's a couple tubes down there. There's a way down there. Uh-oh. Shoot. Now I gotta see if I can get up to the top here. It's not really the way I was planning on getting up. I don't see another way up. Oh well. Let's see what I can do. Okay. So there's the way back to battery corals and battery ash, etc. Here's the way I managed to get up. Yes, seriously. All right, anyway, so here's where the first battery would have been. Our first gun. I keep saying battery when I mean gun. I'm so used to calling these things batteries that when I see one gun, I still call it a battery. Old habits die hard. There's the way down to the lower level. Boy, this place would be scary with snow. The elevation is only, uh, I mean, we're basically barely above sea level. The elevation is probably 150 feet here. So yeah, I wouldn't expect there to be a lot of snow. Then again, it got below freezing last night. There was frost. Huh, they got a plant growing out of that crack there. That's kind of impressive. Besides the obvious moss and grass growing up here. Moss and grass aren't just quite as picky as most other plants as far as where they grow. A lot of bigger plants like trees, they need deeper roots so they can hold themselves upright and get nutrients from the soil. I'm not sure where moss gets its nutrients, must just absorb it dust from the what's it called? Dust from the air or something. Maybe I should study moss. That's it. I'm gonna get a PhD in moss. That sounds like fun. Except for the occasional aircraft or watercraft. It's really quiet up there. Notice there's a steel I-beam there and a couple of bolts here, then a very sketchy ladder here. It's definitely not the safest place to be exploring. Oh well. If it was safe, it'd be crowded. That's why there's 100,000 people at Disneyland and nobody here. All the cliffs scared everybody away. Well, not to mention Disneyland is actually fun. <laughs> A lot of people get bored here, but I 